it's time to go shopping. This is unusual for the Rudy Gutendorf challenge. We actually have a team with a website and a shop. So if you haven't tuned into the Rudy Gutendorf challenge before, it's a journey win. Basically, it's a journey win challenge. But we're going to try and match the 52 clubs that Rudy Gutendorf has managed. We're on Club 3. And this is the first club we've got that's had a website and it's actually got an online shop. So let's go and have a look to see what we've got for sale. Now the interesting thing I've got is obviously I'm a St Johnson supporter so I can't be buying a, a football top or whatever because I can't be seen wandering about Perth with an Air United top on especially when I've got a season ticket for St Johnston so that, that's not going to happen but if I'm going to try and find something really unusual to try and buy interesting, rain jackets, body warmers again that's not going to happen let's have a look at sale, that sounds my, my kind of my kind of thing We've got some tops in the sale. We must be last season's tops. Oh, I like that. Look at that. The away top. Yeah, it looks nice from last season. Quite. Oh, no, nah, I can't. Just can't. We get a mug. Air freshener. Let's have a wee look. Oh, we get a reindeer. How about a pen? Get a pen, will we? Add to cart. £3.50 for a pen though, that's that's quite shocking. First class meal, £5 for delivery. That is mental, right? Well, it's a four pack, that's not bad, that's not bad. Right, could get herself a Air United beach towel, that would be quite interesting, or a wee tie. <laughs> what else have we got? Here we go, could get herself a wee panda cushion, that looks pretty cool. Pennant, slippers, panda wall clock, oh, some socks, there we go, an elf, a Somerset elf and a Somerset sloth, <laughs> what more do you want, right, I think we'll, we'll go for some socks because I can wear them, nobody's going to know, it's going to be an awful expensive £5 postage if, I, if we just get them aren't they, I'm quite interested, in, as the top's dead nice but I can't, I just, I just can't go about Perth with an United top, especially when a St Johnson supporter, it's not not going to happen. Have it been Trow or uh, Cove Ramblers, I'd be quite happy we bought a, a football top, but yeah, I can't, I can't do it, it's as much as as much as I like the top, it's, it's not happening, so we're just going to buy them and we'll see if it comes before the, um, before we, we leave Air United. Hi guys, Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and welcome back to part 2 of the third club in the Rudy Gutendorf Challenge that challenge where we try to manage 52 clubs in one save in Football Manager 2020 and we've got the biggest team that we are facing in the Rudy Gutendorf Challenge so far we've got Celtic in the Betfred Cup at Celtic Park in the week in the Betfred Cup and we're not expected to do well in this competition but because Celtic are the biggest club we've faced so far, um, I'm going to show it live. <coughs> so, it's quite interesting. Celtic are a good side, I take it they've won the Premier, because I've not been in Scotland for the last few years, I just want to make sure that they have won the title the last few seasons, a few, few stages. So, they... Celtic, 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 Celtic. So, Celtic have been the Look at that, 100 points the first season, oof. And as I said, that's the strongest Rangers side for years. I can't quite believe that they absolutely ran away with that. 93, yes, the Rangers haven't really closed the gap at all. So yeah, this is the best side. I'll just have a wee look at my players, just because I'm nosy. Uh, Scott Bain's still there. Second choice goalkeeper, anybody else we recognise? Christopher Julian, he's still there. So on the transfer list though, what is it about these teams putting their best players on the transfer list? Jeremy Frimpong still there, Callum McGregor, Tom Rogic. How, well, how good has Dembele got? Oof, he's got rather good, hasn't he? He's still only 19 and he's English. Boo! That's all I have to say. 
And yeah, let's have a look at their most valuable player. Ben Dembele, who is the most valuable player. And Carl McGregor's just behind him. He's 29. Ryan Christie. So Mickey Johnston's developed into a £15 million player as well. So that's quite... Augers quite well for the Scottish game, apart from Dembele wanting to be English. Tom Brodzik's been requested. So that's quite good. Any young Scots come through? No, not really. That's not great. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to go straight for it. Nothing really to tell you about since your last year. Caramel Wafer Challenge, I take it we go into it after we get knocked out of this. Going to go for it all defensive because this is a good side that we're facing. Best team in Scotland. So we're going to try and defend, try and catch them on the counter-attack, set pieces, and we're just going to go straight for it. Um, as you can see, oh, sorry, just Ferguson and goals, Watson, O'Brien, Curry, and Spittle, Ecker Point, Spence, Barry Bannon comes into the squad, Maibua, um, Kane and Kakulo, Scott Allen's dropped out just because he's not quite fit, and the two guys on load from Celtic can't play, so... Gareth Johnston, the reserve goalkeeper, you can get 50, sounds like, well 49, there we go, a quick 49 by accident, Barry Barron, you have 17, and here we go, <laughs> this could be a murder, there's been a murder, <laughs> but just think of the, the spondulies of cash, we'll get half of this um, crowd money, which will be good. Um, the pressure's off. Have a good performance, right? Tunnel. We're the lowest goal scorers in the Betfred Cup. I seem to think we haven't actually played in the Betfred Cup. Let's, let's just have a look at this football manager. Um, over to schedule. Senior squad. Yeah, we're the, we're the lowest scoring team in the Betfred Cup because we've just literally just came into the Betfred Cup. We haven't played. <laughs> right, Greg Walker. Have you actually done any research? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not a journalist, but you're... Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm not in the business. I'll treat it as a normal match. Go away. He's just been rested. Nothing more than that. Ask him, Edelson. Go away. You don't have a clue, Scott Walker. Go away. Right, I'm not watching the Celtic cuddle. We're going straight for it. Make our point that maybe we should have pulled him out. Scott Allen's on the bench. Oh, Barron with a free kick. Oh, and Mabua nearly. As I say, this is not a, a game I expect anything from. So to get through it without any injuries and to get that pot of cash at the end would be quite nice. As I say, not really had to defend much in the Rudy Gutendorf challenge so far. It's been all about attack, attack, attack. So it'll be interesting to see. This is a tactic I used to the Tasmania Berlin save last season. And it was really quite successful. Spence, what are you doing? And Ferguson scoops it up. Good man. But yeah, it wasn't was a very successful tactic. It was a, quite a successful tactic when we got into the Bundesliga last year. But before that, in sort of the lower leagues, it wasn't overly great. But in the Bundesliga, once we scored, we'd go to this tactic and it would shop, shop. Didn't work overly well against the better teams, the Bayern Munichs and the Borussia Dortmunds and stuff, because it was inviting pressure on. So I don't know if I'm tempting fate by putting Celtic and inviting them on to us. But as I say, it's... They'll have done their research on me and they'll know that I like a nice pressing game. But I like to attack, so this is... This, I've maybe fooled them. No, no at half-time. That's really quite pleasing. Dressing room, team talk. Better team, just keep doing it. Nobody really listened to me. Nobody cares. Ecker Point's going to have to come off, I think. He's lax late. Sounds like, oh... Offside, no? And a good save. Celtic will get chances. They're not going to be great chances with this tactic, so we're going to have to take them. Maru. Coral. Oh. 
and we're just going to sit and hope that Kane or Kokaro, who it hasn't impressed me, either one of them, to be honest. Wallace. Oh, and I save for Ferguson again. He's keeping us in it. Two saves in the last couple of minutes. Mickey Johnston. £15 million worth of Mickey Johnston. As I say, these are the best players we faced in the Rudy Gundorf Challenge. <clears throat> Taker points probably going to have to come off in a second. And I do not know if I've got another wing back on the bench. Taker point is a left back. Ricky Little, you're just going to have to suck it up and try and play there. Or as I put Aaron Doran. At least left. Can play in the left, right? Go for it. Oh, and Butland. Really? Butland and goals? For Celtic, I never noticed that. Wallace, what a trap. Oh, and a good save by <laughs> Ferguson in any times again for no apparent reason. <laughs> he was never going to get there anyway. That was a, a dive and a half. O'Connor over the top. None of the centre forwards are doing much. Except, let's see who we've got on the bench. We've got Declan McManus and Tiwi Darawola. Declan McManus is coming off for the Uruguayan. There we go. He hasn't impressed me much, this Uruguayan sensation. He really was. He's not got great pace or anything. I wonder if that's the, the problem. Right, here's Mickey Johnson again. Oh, Ferguson. <laughs> Oh, that was unlucky. Right, we don't panic. I'm not going to open up because we're going to stay the way we are. But that is an error from the, the goalkeeper. We, I think he may be a bit flappy. I, I did want Castillas from um, Trout, but he's not going to get a work permit. So we we'll have to watch that situation. Right, now we're going to open up. Pause. Tactics. Now, do we go, or do we go, I think we go this, we're, go, we're going to shotgun by going another tactic that we, we don't normally do, so we've got, Doran's going to be playing there, Kane, McManus is going to be, McManus can play there, so we've we'll him, Kane's coming off for Scotty Allen. Spence play there, I think. No, he can't. Barron can play there, though. Not very well. Can he play there? Well, let's try that. Hey, we're getting closer to Reds. And then Chris Cairo for Scott Allen. There we go. And we're going back to Bundesliga. Let's attack them now. Let's try and get a goal. Back to the future. I'd rather go out 2-0, 3-0 than not have a go at them, so let's go for it. McGregor. We did well to hold them. And Ferguson holds it. <laughs> he looks a bit scared of the ball there. <laughs> like when like little kids are just catch they learning to catch balls, we're all like that spittle. Straight to Big O'Connor to Wallace. And the belly, no, you're not offside. Oh well, there we go. We had a go. A good goal. From the Englishman. <laughs> That's frustrating. 
Boya. The belly. Bow, no, no. And there's three nil. Tactics. Back to the defense. Back to the defensive one. Form change. That's frustrating. I did say I'd rather lose three nil than go out without a fight. So we tried. I can't fault them. I uh, can't fault your effort. We don't like it. It's, it's we're no no at half time against Celtic. You know what I mean? If, if that had happened in real life, you know what I mean? They'd have um, David Curry and that going mental and Michael Stewart going mental in the old sports scene, wouldn't they? <laughs> so, we did our job. Anyway, so now we're going to wait on the package coming. Tomorrow we'll do the stadium tour and we will come back. I don't know when we're going to come back. We'll, I'll play a few games because I want to get on with the, the um, season and I'll come back somewhere, maybe four or five games time and then we'll have a better idea of where our position will be in the league. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.